calling to book a women's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. It turns out a big part of getting things done is making a phone call. We think AI can help with this problem. Let's say you want to ask Google to make you a haircut appointment on Tuesday between 10 and noon. What happens is the Google Assistant makes the call seamlessly in the background for you. So what you're going to hear is the Google Assistant actually calling a real salon to schedule the appointment for you. Let's listen. Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. Sure, what time are you looking for around? At 12 p.m. We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is a 1.15. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending on what service she would like, what service is she looking for? Just a woman's haircut for now. Okay, we have a 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. is fine. Okay, what's her first name? The first name is Lisa. Okay, perfect. So I will see Lisa at 10 o'clock on May 3rd. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. Bye. That was a real call you just heard. The amazing thing is the assistant can actually understand the nuances of conversation. We've been working on this technology for many years. It's called Google Duplex. It brings together all our investments over the years in natural language understanding, deep learning, text-to-speech. By the way, when we are done, the assistant can give you a confirmation notification saying your appointment has been taken care of. Let me give you another example. Let's say you want to call a restaurant, but maybe it's a small restaurant which is not easily available to book online. The call actually goes a bit differently than expected. So take a listen. See how may I hear you? Hi, um, I'd like to reserve a table for Wednesday the 7th. For seven people? Um, it's for four people. Four people when? Today, um, next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Oh, actually, we leave here for like after like five people. For few, four people, you can come. How long is the wait usually to uh, be seated? For when tomorrow or weekday or? For next Wednesday, uh, the seventh. Oh no, it's not too busy. You you, you can come for four people, okay? Oh, I got gotcha. you. Thanks. Yeah. Bye-bye. Again, that was a real call. We have many of these examples where the calls quite don't go as expected, but the assistant understands the context, the nuance. It knew to ask for wait times in this case and handled the interaction gracefully. Look, we are still developing this technology, and we actually want to work hard to get this right, get the user experience and the expectation right for both businesses and users. But done correctly, it'll save time for people and generate a lot of value for businesses. Now, what you just heard was Google's new version of the AI called Google Duplex that is trained to have a nuanced interaction with human people. And if I'm not mistaken, did the Google AI just pass the Turing test with flying colors? And folks, this is now. This is not 5, 10, 15 years from now. This is right now. This is today. This is today's technology. This is an AI online passing a Turing test live with unexpected results. And handling those unexpected results, just like a human would, sometimes as good as a human. Now, whether these are just cherry-picked interactions where they've picked off certain phone calls, this is scary. And already, 
people are talking about uh, this thing being ethical and actually announcing that's an AI ahead of time. Now, this is for making uh, so far as just making appointments for a haircut and seating at a restaurant. Now, what can this do for making calls to patients that are at home or service calls for an insurance company or quality control calls? A lot of things that human people have done for good God since there's been phones around. A lot of your calls like this are very basic. Just think if uh, an AI can actually do this for cold calling and online sales. What is that going to do for people's jobs? What is that going to do for secretaries or virtual assistants? A lot of the interpersonal reactions where normally it would take a very experienced human herd of. And this is technology now. You know, two years ago, this was unheard of. What is it going to be like in five years? How many positions will it eliminate? If the AI can do this, it takes very nuanced interpersonal relationships. It takes a lot of learning that it takes years for a human being to learn how to handle this kind of stuff. I mean, if you, if you raised a child, it would take a child at least 10 years to actually get to this level of performance as far as just talking to somebody or making appointments online on, on by the phone. I'm not talking about online, but by the phone, what can it do online as far as typing, as far as medical billing, you know, uh, nurse's office making appointments or receiving appointments virtual receptionist can you imagine a doctor's office with maybe one person but a bunch of virtual receptionists i mean like i said this is now this is not 10 years from now this is right now it could be deployed and that you know i was listening to my my google assistant at home and i, I could notice the behavior change so this is going to be rolled out and it's going to be experimented and with millions of people interacting with it, it's going to learn a hell of a lot faster than we think it will. So, folks, like I said, in 2018, I've been telling you, tighten your belt, tighten your chin strap. Because Kansas is getting ready to go bye bye. But I thought I'd drop this real quick because this is a uh, mind blowing to me and I've been following this stuff for 25 years and this kind of stuff is mind-blowing to me that we have reached this level of interaction with a computer with an ai that's only been in the movies i think six was a movie that was called uh her that was actually that came out and i think it was 2015 or 2016 where you had a this this perfected AI that can actually interact with you just the same as a human being. What if that level of AI is exists right now and it's going to be rolled out where it can be your personal friend within two years where you don't need to talk to anybody except your AI that knows your schedule, knows who you are, can interact with you person to person, I mean, maybe even be your counselor. Who knows? Should we fear the future or embrace the future? I guess we have to do a little bit of both. With that, I'm going to jump off of here. This is BGS Out, and I will see you guys on the next one.